Hi, I'm Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. We're coming up to Fellaban, which is the Latin American Bankers event. It's going to be in Miami in November. We have a special issue of The Banker for it. And I'm with Sylvia Pavoni, the economics editor. And Sylvia, what are going to be the big issues on the agenda at Fellaban this year? I think the big issues are the economy. Obviously, Latin America is going through a really tough period, mostly because of the uh, commodities price slump, which has affected pretty much everybody. Uh, increased regulation, which is also affecting banks' relations outside of their national borders. Um, and, uh, well, growth. I mean, where growth is going to come from. Okay. I mean, and key to the problems is what's going on in Brazil, isn't it? I mean, every time I read about Brazil, they've notched the economy down a bit <coughs> further. At the same time, you've got this uh, Petrobras corruption scandal going on in the background. I mean, where do you think Brazil is going to go in the next sort of six months? It's three a years? big question mark. Everybody is wondering about this. Um, so the economy is set to fall into recession by the end of this year. The forecast for the falling one is not particularly rosy. Um, again, the commodity prices have really affected badly the country, but the main issue for Brazil now is political. Um, until the Petrobras scandal comes to some sort of conclusion, until the uh, political scene seems to be stable. Companies will not invest. They're not investing. We also have in really high levels of bankruptcies, which are very likely to transform themselves into NPRs in non-performing loans. OK, so what is the outlook for the banks then? I mean, both in Brazil and perhaps more broadly in the region. Uh, I mean, they're well capitalized and they're well managed. We know that in the main. So, so how will they, will they cope with this uh, rise in NPLs? So as you rightly say, they all have very good levels of capitals and provisions. So, and at the moment, they still present a very healthy picture. Uh, they are by far the largest, um, the top Brazilian banks in the region. They've, they will continue to be the largest and probably will continue to hold on to their profitability. But it's going to be tough. They will have to make choices. They will have to decide where to go, what segments to focus on, and possibly the analysis of um, which uh, customers will be more desirable may have to change. Um, where do you think growth is finally going to come from? I mean, when it does return to, to Latin America, and, and, and w when and where? Okay, basically? so, so uh, when you look at Latin America, investors um, split a thing in two. Um, the most enthusiastic supporters of the region tends to look at the, um, I would say, the, Atlant at the Pacific side, sorry. So the countries that um, tend to be more open to foreign investment, they've always adopted uh, orthodox uh, policies, microeconomic policies, uh, and these are Colombia, Peru, uh, Chile, of course, Mexico as well. Uh, but at the same time, I, have, I yet have to find someone who doesn't look at Brazil when looking at Latin America. Obviously, a, a vast uh, consumer market, lots of potential, um, so it is something, it is yeah. a country that and cannot be overlooked. And in a way, when, when Brazil gets a, <coughs> a cold, the whole of Latin America gets influenza, doesn't it's, it? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it, it, it does take the pulse of uh, where the region is. But at the same time, Latin America is really split into micro climates, if, if you wish. So it's not just as it used to be, well, now a few years ago, just one basket. You really need to know your way around the country to make the right decision in terms of investing, in terms of uh, um, predicting where each country is going to go. Okay, thank you very much, Silva.